previous time what we were supposed to do? Oh. Possibly. Uh, maybe? I don't remember. Oh. Let's just not do it. Whatever. I don't care. Whatever. We already yeah. have F's. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Did you guys know that you have the chance to get a perfect score in, on your history grade and possibly keep yourself from repeating your 10th grade year? What? Well, <laughs> now you do. With this Super Nintendo controller, you will be able to go back to the 90s and gather all the information you need for your project. And a guaranteed A+. Plus. <laughs> what? Come on, Really? <laughs> really? So I'll leave this here for you to decide, but remember, the choice is yours. Failing and having to take the entire 10th grade year older over again, or going on a magic time-traveling mission to get a perfect score. <laughs> okay, choice whatever. is yours. I guess I could just take summer school, but okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to touch right. this Super Nintendo controller and go back in time. Right. Yeah. It's for an A. <laughs> My dear is, when are you? So when are we? The year is 1993. How do we get back to our time? You will use your knowledge of U.S. history and this awesome 90s cell phone. When you know who was inaugurated in 1993, you will put it on this cell phone and will take you back to your own time. You control your time travel with this Super Nintendo controller. I wish you luck. Whoa. Where'd, Where'd he go? go? Where'd he go? Okay, well, what do we do now? I guess we try to figure out who was inaugurated in 1983. Do you guys remember that presentation in class the other day? Not really, I was sleeping. Yeah, I just remember something weird. Well, maybe we can find it on here. All right. Oh, yeah, it was Bill Clinton. Type right. it in. Okay. There we go. Now I have to hook this up. Probably. And turn it on. Are we back? I don't know. Well, there he is. Let's go talk to him. If you want to get moving forward in time, you're going to have to get this here Game Boy Color and use it along with your knowledge of the literary period of the 1990s to present to answer this question. What was the chief literary movement of the 1990s? Hey, do you guys remember that one presentation in class? Kind of. Yeah, maybe. Hey, a little hmm. bit. Well, that was easy. It's just the multicultural women authors. Oh, yeah. right, of course. All we right. should try to do this like we did last time. Plug it in. I hope it works. Sounds of cooking. Oh. Are we back yet? I wouldn't be surprised if we aren't. Hey, look, there he is. So now we're back, right? <laughs> Come on, just get us back to our own time. I just want to go home. You have a few more trials to get through if you want your A-plus on the project. 
Now, you must use this late 90s green cell phone to answer the question that I'm about to ask you. What economic bubble burst in the late 90s, early millennium that cost the Silicon Valley millions upon millions of dollars? Wait, didn't we learn this in class? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, right. It was a dot-com bubble. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, ready? Wait, I have it. Yeah, here you go. Okay, it's gonna Plug work this time. Here we go. We're finally going back. part super devious question to answer before you can get an A plus on your project. And it is? Here's the question. What year was Apple's revolutionary iPod introduced? How much did it sell for? And what was the top billboard song from that year? Use this iPhone and your trusty Super Nintendo controller to get you back to the present. $399. And the top song was Lighthouse, Hanging by a Moment. Cool, let's get this going. Let's go home. Finally. I want an A plus so bad. Was it all a dream? Or was it? Just as you write my 